Hey everybody, welcome back to another unboxing video, and today we have one more double feature before I start getting back into batch openings from Mushoku Tensei. We've got a Roxy noodle stopper, and then because the Roxy version got delayed and this one showed up, we have the QuestQ changing mode figure, which is uh, arguably not safe for work, so again, if you're watching this where somebody can see your screen, uh, kind of like with the Christmas one, you know, maybe, maybe watch it later, just in case. There's no actual nudity or anything, but, you know, our, our panties are out, so, I don't know. Depends on your views and the people around you's views and how you, uh, care about how they view you, you know. All that good stuff. Let's start with the Noodle Stopper and see how this turned out, because they tend to be pretty hit or miss on quality. Uh, let's see, who made this one? This one is Furyu. I think it's just straight from them. Yeah, they're just Katakawa. So, more than likely, this is going to be pretty high quality. They tend to put out really high quality stuff. Let's see, can I open the box without tearing everything, though? There we go. A uh, typical prize figure, just uh, cardboard inside of there. And then bubble wrap on the figure. That's all that's in there. What I have taken to doing is throwing out the inner packaging to these prize figures and uh, just folding up the boxes. Uh, but for now, actually I do want to keep the box so that she can have something to sit on because she needs something to sit on. So there's the Roxy Noodle Stopper. It does look very high quality. They did a banger job on this one. This is definitely better than prize figure quality. <laughs> or like typical prize figure quality in my opinion anyways. You know, I don't, I don't have, like, a massive prize figure collection, so. I may not be the best judge, but to me, this is pretty flawless. I mean, the only thing she's missing is her hat. Let's get her. Okay, so one flaw is that she doesn't want to sit. There we go. I think it's just more the box kind of poofing out. Get her more on this edge. Yeah. Need something flat to sit on. <laughs> not really a problem, though. And I was really hoping that I'd get to open this one with the Roxy one, because they, they have a Roxy one, and I have it on order, but it got delayed. So I'm just going to open this one. I've been sitting on it for long enough. And we'll just open the Roxy one whenever it shows up. Now, QuestQ or QuestQ or whatever, I think I have a few of their figures. I don't remember which ones exactly, but I think I've had pretty good experience with them so far. I think they've got decent quality. I just honestly cannot remember, I think I have like two other figures that are made by this company and I cannot remember what the, <laughs> which figures they are. I'm going to have to look it up. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong, if I remember correctly, I haven't had any complaints about this company. You know, I saw recently uh, in my recommended when I was watching some other stuff, somebody had insinuated that Mushoku Tensei is the perfect isekai, which I don't necessarily agree with. I didn't watch the video, so I don't know. I might agree with his point, but um, I'm happy that it's as popular as it is because it is kind of a ridiculous show, and I thought it would just get like outcompeted by Konosuba, and I actually honestly like it better than Konosuba in a lot of ways, so I'm glad that I'm not the only one that feels that way about Mushoku Tensei. Um, I was actually quite pleasantly surprised by how, uh, how good that show is. Okay, so it looks like her head comes off. I removed all the other plastic, but there's, uh, stuff around her neck joint. So let's see if I can carefully remove that. Yeah, there we go. Always nervous about that. Because you can never tell if, uh, <laughs> the head is actually removable or not. <laughs> or if any part in specific, in a particular is removable or not. And I am noticing, like, there's, like, a two-tone thing going on with this base. I don't know how well it's showing up on camera. kind of depends on how the light hits it, but the back part is lighter than the front part, which is interesting. I feel like I have another figure that has a very similar base style. Hmm, I don't see it on my display. I wonder if it's maybe one that I haven't opened yet. I could have sworn there was another wood floor style. Maybe it's, you know, it's reminding me of the, the bricks from, uh, the Spy Family bases. I wonder if one of those was Quest Q. 
I'll have to check, but here's um Eris getting caught changing. Which I would assume is probably not everybody's cup of tea, but for me this this hits a lot of marks for me. Um I like bottomless, I like the socks. Um character's obviously great. And uh, I think I like this one a lot more than the Roxy one. I got both of them just because they're funny. And, uh, you know, for posterity, I might as well get both of the uh, the figures from the set. Um, but I think I like this one a lot more. We'll have to see once I actually get the Roxy one in my hands, obviously. Um, but obviously it fits the tone of the show, too. I'm glad that they actually made some, like, semi safer work kind of lewd-ish figures. Because if you've seen Mushoku Tensei, then you know what it, you know what's going on in there <laughs> um the quality seems pretty good overall i'm not seeing any flaws hair's painted well I'm not seeing any extra paint anywhere base is a little bit flimsy but other than that yeah i think quest q is a solid manufacturer i don't, I don't think i've seen many problems with them i just don't know how to pronounce their damn name <laughs> is it quest q is it kes q is it how am i supposed to pronounce that you guys can you can you tell me um in any case, just a quick double feature. Um, should be the last one for a bit. I am going to have some more short videos, uh, but I like to kind of change it up so that it's not just, you know, like a week of short videos because I try to put one of these out every day. Um, so let's see. What? what? Maybe I'll figure out what I want to do while we're here. You know what? How about we do this for you guys? Uh, tomorrow, or next video, whenever whenever I decide to release uh, on my schedule, um, next one I film, though, is going to be a quarter-scale bunny double feature. So it'll be another double feature, but it'll be much longer. It'll be two quarter-scale bunnies. So, get hype. And uh, that's about it for this video, so please subscribe if you haven't. Like and comment, all that good stuff. And uh, hopefully I will see you in the next video for some bunny action. Bye!